I showed a picture of the piece recently to somebody when I was all excited, this is going to be at the Rife, and he said, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. <laughs> and that, that pleased me so much because people usually either are one, in one way or another shocked or they think it's funny, and it pleased me so much that he actually just thought it was pretty. <laughs> I think the piece should tell its own story, I guess. Um, but if it gets any kind of talk going, I think that's good. People that, I want people to tell their own stories. I'd already been working with teeth imagery for a long time. I'm real into dreams and dream imagery, dream journaling, all the Jungian stuff. So I'd already been having a, a long series of anxiety, teeth-related dreams. Dreams are full of metaphor, and they're also full of humor. And I finally realized this was about biting off more than you can chew. And when I realized that, I was like, oh, okay. And, and, and this piece is fully intended to be funny punny, right? It's called Crowns. But it's also meant to be a serious piece, actually about the high cost of healthcare in this country because I had recently had some dental work done. I had my first crown. I had broken a tooth, had to have the crown. It was something like $1,200. How do you pay for that when it comes straight out of the blue and you have no dental insurance? There's a lot of times I get ideas, this is a recent thing, I get ideas in my head either for writing or for artwork and I can swear to you I've created the entire thing in my mind and it almost doesn't matter whether it actually gets made because I feel like it's been put into the world somehow and it's been good for me to have experienced it stuff comes up that you didn't know was there. But that's my theory to begin with, that the unconscious guides everything. And even if you're not writing or not producing, your unconscious is always working on material that's going to rise eventually. You know, it's all arising. And, and you just follow that. I have been making art for as long as I can remember. Um, art and writing both, pretty, from the time I was very young. I started my first novel when I was 11, if that gives you an idea. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't know any other way to be in the world. I think, I think I see the world, and most artists, see the world in a different way. Just see the world in a completely different way. And for a long time I thought that meant there was something wrong with me. <laughs> and it's been a joy to be a little older, a little more mature, a little more settled, and realize this has really been a gift all along, and not something I ever had to fight.